following Max, but I wanted to. I gotta tell you. So, um, so no, 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 good stuff. Um, I no, I thoroughly enjoyed one. Holy crap, Paul Elring was in was in shape. What did they talk about? Like he's the weak link at two hundred and forty pounds because that's how big these guys were. Um, also, I enjoyed that Kevin Sullivan seemed to be. Uh, gotten over on every time like he he went to do a running clothesline on animal and and he just shrugged it off and there was something else where he got punked out on too uh when he was coming in to come at them and stuff um it's weird to me seeing these guys in this varsity club kind of thing you know i i didn't really like understand it um and and also rick steiner as a television champion as an individual like this, this this is a pre steiner brothers that i'm aware of that 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 you know I, I just don't know this stuff right uh and to realize rick steiner had been around for that long you know <laughs> um you know well into the i guess late mid to late 80s i guess at that point right um no i love this that, this was classic road warriors this is classic just tearing stuff apart and watching hawk just destroy that chair with his bare hands at the end of the show or at the end of the match was was pretty incredible also jim ross saying this is probably the worst idea i've ever had but i'm going to interview these guys <laughs> that was a lot of fun too um, i wanted on record that is not the worst idea jim ross has ever had oh it has not <laughs> been but you know i mean it might have been his worst idea of the 80s at least so i somehow doubt it <laughs> okay all right all right so um and uh no, and it's classic studio wrestling it's 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 a lot of fun it's a lot of fun for 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 what it is so and it's definitely built up for that and i did want to go again like check out that next match that that it led to and everything at uh I guess it was at Clash of the Champions, I think, that they're relating to. I believe to. it was at the Chi Town Rumble Sword. I okay, so they maybe they're just advertising the general Or am I mistaken? I well, they were they mentioned the Clash of the Champions like a St. Valentine's Day Valentine's oh, Day Massacre. Maybe it was. St. Yeah. Valentine's oh. Massacre, yeah. Oh, okay. oh, like that was the next that thing they were promoting actively alongside it. So But I, I don't know if anyone else watched like the rest of the show, because like like a goober I watched like this entire hour. <laughs> Almost this entire hour. I, I ducked out before the interview, though. Cause, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because uh, Jacob Edwin didn't inform me that there would be, you know, more stuff to see beyond the match. Anyway, um, they kept running these uh, promos for the for the Shy Town Rumble. Okay. Um, Were and, you watching uh, the show leading up to this? I was watching. I watched this hour of WCW Saturday night, I guess. And uh, I, I saw Lex Luger squash match. I saw a Hacksaw Butch Reed squash match. <laughs> And then, uh, then I watched this match, and uh, yeah, it was crazy. So it was AEW dark? Well, just shut it. Stop it. No, no, no dog. The dog piling's <laughs> over. All right. Um, the uh, but the, the 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 cool thing about this match is that like they actually found like a believable way to make you think that they were getting one over on the Road Warriors. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like like the the attack on Animal's arm was very convincing. Like that, you know the the. They put his arm across the on, on the ring apron. Doctor Death comes to big stomp, mm-hmm. and plus in this uh, in the ensuing melee, they killed the interview podium. <laughs> well, they throw that thing, and I'm like, where'd they get the 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 IKEA bookshelf that <laughs> fell apart on? on that is command. the iconic WCW interview podium being destroyed, or at least it used to be. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, Tina's uh, uh, confirming Rick Steiner has been around since the early 80s, seen him in some early Mid-South stuff. So, wow, that's, <laughs> again, just don't know that history, you know, just completely unaware. Um, but, uh, no, I, this was a fun match. Like, I love I love just seeing these, these, like, crazy TV matches. Although, I did notice a lot of this audience is in stunned silence of what they're seeing. Like, no, they've probably seen about like five hours of wrestling for this TV taping and have no energy right now. <laughs> so, were, were you at the? Did they during this match? Did you hear Jim Ross telling people when to show up for the next two TV tapings on the uh, these like back to back Sundays? No, I didn't. Not, not, not in the portion that I watched. No, <laughs> yeah, he was like, "Oh, the fans are gonna come down to the uh, to the studio down here." At, uh, I forget what they used to call it. Is it, it the center there. stage? Yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that. And they were like, "Oh, come down here on uh, December December 9th and December sixteenth. We're gonna be down here yeah. for five goddamn hours." No, we didn't mention that. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what happened. Yeah, yeah, and it's not a lot of people in that crowd either. It's very, it's a very tiny studio wrestling crowd. Yeah, like I feel like if, if there's fifty people there, that would be surprised. So, um, but no, I enjoyed that. Did anybody else uh, catch this one by chance? I, I saw it. I I didn't know what to expect because I'm not a big fan of the varsity club. But no. who is? It was short. It was violent. I guess that's all you can really handle. Uh, 
I did like that the podium was destroyed and they almost killed a cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was not crazy about that part. Uh, so he was well out of range, Sorg. They missed him by like three or four feet. Yeah. Hey, the cameraman got a named shout out. He did. Yeah, that doesn't yeah. happen very often. Yeah. yeah. Also, okay, good. I, I, so you didn't see after this. I think Teddy Long was a referee in the next match. Yes, Teddy so, Long was there. I thought, okay. I saw oh, a referee. Did Teddy uh, have his the weird match. back hair? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, I remember watching those old matches. And I'm like. He looks much better with a shaved head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Doing good work. Doing good work. Although he couldn't save it. He couldn't say save, save the law and notice segment. So, uh, mm. That's because he couldn't put a one in a one on one match with the undertaker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, uh, Ronnie, Tony, do you have a chance with this one? Nope. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. I, I did see it. Um, I I'm not a Road Warriors fan. I'll, I'll be I'll be the first to admit. And uh, Varsity Club, I, I I like Rotunda and and Rick Steiner separately. And Kevin yeah. Sullivan Sullivan always has been hit or miss with me. The Road Warriors in general, I just have never been able to get on board with. Mm-hmm. Um, just and I think that's just because of what i like as a as a wrestling style um i'm not uh, a big fan of of their style of wrestling the the no sell over and over again but for what they were doing in the 80s i understood why this was a big deal and how uh, a match like this would build to the pay-per-view it was very classic as you said uh studio wrestling to sell a pay-per-view uh type deal uh, very reminiscent of uh, or early '90s stuff that I've seen, and this is '89, which mm-hmm. you know, this this was February 11, 1989. I was born ten days prior to this match being aired, so <laughs> screw you guys. I'm young as shit. Uh, I, I want to say I I don't know that I was a I I wasn't really a Road Warriors fan. I was mm-hmm. a Legion of Doom fan though. So. Yeah, well, I was going to mention this that like the um, even yeah. even fans as old and grizzled as you and I saw, yes, probably do not remember peak Road Warriors. No, no, I, I never got to watch far back Road Warriors because I didn't have the Superstation. That's right, same, yeah. same but here. Even, but same even here. then, like they're from what I've heard, like especially since you know Animal passed away, you've heard some uh, stories being shared. But even like their their peak is like is is like pre Superstation. Like yeah. you got to yeah. get in like AWA stuff to like yeah. really see them like at their. Yeah. The legendary Road Warrior pop, yeah. For instance, you know, right, like things like that. It, it's it's uh, it's pretty in, it's pretty incredible. It was. I will say this: it was super jarring to see Paul Ellering, who I I know as a uh, leather jacket wearing, motorcycle riding, dummy holding, ventriloquist dummy holding manager, yeah. hitting you know ripped with like zero percent potty fat and twenty percent steroids, uh, <laughs> dr- hitting drop kick after drop kick after drop kick, and just rotating through those drop kicks on all three members of the varsity club. That was I'm sitting there going like. This is this is Rachel's dad, right? Uh, we were talking yes, about the same yes. Paul Ellering, yes, right? Yeah, the one that was with I, AO, AOP. Yeah, I couldn't wrap my pain. head around yeah, it. Yeah, I yeah. could not like legitimately wrap my head around this is Paul Ellering. <laughs> like I can't do this. To me, the AO, the like the AOP Paul Ellering mm-hmm. is not a much of a departure of my recollection of the Legion of Doom Paul no, Ellering. It's the no, same he one. just carries yeah. a book instead of a puppet. No, it's the same one. But this one, this 1989 Paul Ellering is nothing like the Paul Ellering I know from when I grew up and watching those. So that was jarring for me. But it was the same Road Warrior. It was the same Hawk. It was the same Animal. I I, I uh, didn't understand Hawk and Animal. I, I think there was a missed opportunity to have a manager Fatal Four Way back in the day. Oh yeah, like who you think? Like, I'm thinking we get Paul Ellering in there. You get Paulie Dangerously, you get Jim Cornette, and you get Bobby Heenan. Jeez. <laughs> or J.J. Dillon. What are you you know what? I don't know. S- since you mentioned the managers, um, also on this um, episode, if you feel like going back and watching any more of this episode of Saturday Oh, I do not. You, you, you get a Flair promo, but you also get a Jim Cornette promo. He's feuding. He's the baby face feuding with a heel Paulie. Really? Dangerously. Really? And let me tell you, uh, yeah, Cornette does just about 
what you expect Cornette to do in this promo. And I was like, God. <laughs> wait, wait, like, like, like Cornette like cringe a, a or offensive, a, a, offensive stuff that would get you thrown off the air today. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. But, but I mean, that so was, just so just Jim Cornette now. I mean, that was, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, he, he's not. That was that was Southern and standard for the time, yeah, probably. Yeah. So, uh, oh yeah, that I mean, doesn't make it right. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. No, 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 no. no. But uh, 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 we have some uh, somebody else recollecting in the uh, chat room as well. Uh, Tina's saying that a weird moment was when you, she would watch these when she was little. The flag surrounding the studio was a geographically geographic geography lesson for her. Mm-hmm. Wow, it's getting late. Uh, also, um, when you would hear the drop, hear that drop in their Black Sabbath theme, mm-hmm. uh, you would hear such a thunderous pop. What? What Black Sabbath song did they come out um, to? I'm not aware. I'm, and I'm sure I haven't heard it on the network. So I can't imagine them dropping Black Sabbath screw money. Screw this up. It was, you mm. definitely won't hear it on the network. No, but I'll, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Um, Road Warriors theme song. Um, I think it was Iron Man. It was I don't believe Man. it was Iron Man. Yeah. Really? It was Iron Man. Um, end of yeah, Bay I don't know. It's not saying. Chat room will tell us if we're wrong. We are Iron Men. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like. 